everyone. You know, last weekend was Memorial Day weekend, and I did a whole bunch of sauces and, and um, a salsa, and I put videos up for that, and it was a lot of fun to do. And today, Sunday, I was going to get up, my husband and I were going to go kayaking, but it turned out that it was raining. So I had a couple of, a um, little bit of that jalapenos and some tomatoes and things. So I went ahead and did some more salsa, only this one, if you can see, I left in some of the, some of the seeds, so it'll make it a little hotter, and I like a good hot salsa, so... That'll be nice to have around. But when I um, posted my videos, one of my subscribers asked if I had a relish recipe for hot dogs. And I got to looking through several books, and I can't find anything specifically hot dog relish. And when you talk about relishes, there's mustard relish, there's regular pickle relish, and sweet pickle relish. And so what I decided to do today was out of, again, I'm using... This book, the um, So Easy to Preserve book from the Cooperative Extension of the University of Georgia. And there is a recipe in there. There's several of them for relish, but um, the one I'm going to use is the sweet pickle relish. It'll make about seven half pints. And what it calls for is four cups of chopped cucumbers. Now, it doesn't say chopped fine or chopped in chunks, so I just kind of did what I would consider a relish chop. And I used my chopper, which made things a lot quicker. So it's four cups of cucumbers two cups of chopped onion, one chopped green pepper, and one chopped red pepper, and then um, a quarter of a cup of salt. And that's like the first half of the recipe, because what you do is we're going to put this all in a pan, sprinkle the salt over it, and pour cold water over it, and let it sit for two hours. So then after that's done, um, after two hours you drain it, and you press out the extra liquid and get it as dry as you can. Then you're going to combine the sugar, which is three and a half cups of sugar, with two cups of cider vinegar and always make sure that that's at five percent acidity and then i've got a tablespoon of celery seed and a tablespoon of mustard seed in there so i put them both in the same thing so i'm going to put these in this pot and we'll mix them up and i'll sprinkle the salt over them and then then after that's done what you do is you combine those last ingredients and you bring them to a boil and then after you get it to a boil, you um, mix in all of this extra, or these vegetables that you have kind of got as much moisture out as you can, the drained vegetables. And then you just simmer that for 10 minutes. Then you um, put it in your boiling water canner, and you process it for 10 minutes. So that's not, it's not really bad. I think the length of time is really just this two-hour waiting to let it set and kind of, I guess the juices get out of it and gets all that extra moisture so it's not real watery I would assume so there's that and I'll bring this over so you see a little bit better and we'll mix all that up and then we've got some cold water here so we're going to take that quarter cup of salt now and I'm going to well I want to mix it up a little bit better I think there's a big clump of onion here and I think I need to get it nicely mixed so we'll get that there and then we'll sprinkle this salt over the top of it. And then it just says cover with cold water and let it stand for two hours. Get all that off of there. And here's some cold water and I'm just going to kind of get it around the edges to kind of get that off the sides of the pan. All right. There it is. And now it is 10 to 4, so at 10 to 6 we'll come back, and I'll put that on, and uh, we'll finish this sweet pickle relish. But for the next two hours, you know I don't like to sit idle, so I am going to make some molasses cookies. So I'll do a video on that, and it's kind of a neat recipe that I found in an old, old cookbook of my mom's. So I will be back with you when this is two hours old. All right, we're back to our relish. Now this is set for two hours with the salt and the water and I'm going to run it through the strainer here and I put some cheesecloth on there because you're supposed to try to get as much moisture out of this as you possibly can and um, the cheesecloth makes it kind of easy to be able to kind of press it down and get all that extra moisture out of there and then I'll just wash this pan out and we'll use this one to cook in it and I've got the jars all prepared they're sterilized in the boiling water canner ready to go so we're gonna squish and make sure we get all the moisture out of there we can because you don't 
want a runny relish, that's for sure. So I'm going to squeeze this, I'm going to wash the pan out, and then I'll come back when we're ready to mix everything together. There you go, we've got the um, vegetables, uh, the juices really squeezed out of them pretty well. So now you add the sugar and the vinegar and the spices, and you mix this around and heat it until it's boiling. And then once it reaches a boil, you put in the drained vegetables and you let them simmer for 10 minutes and then we'll put them in the jars. So right now, I'm going to mix up this sugar and the vinegar and we'll get it to boiling and then I'll put the vegetables in and I'll come back when they're ready. Alright, we're boiling. I'm going to add the vegetables. Wow, it's really boiling hard. Add these vegetables in here. Kind of excited about this relish. I think it's going to be great. And it just so happens that tomorrow, when our grandkids come over to hang out, they uh, are going to have hot dogs. So I might have a little of this left over to put on their hot dogs. All right, so now. We put those vegetables in there. Now we're going to get it to a simmer and let it simmer for 10 minutes. My rings and my flats for my lids are ready to go. And then we'll just jar it up. Okay. The relish has boiled. It's Well, it's simmered for 10 minutes. Oh, that doesn't look so good. There you go. And uh, it looks really good. It's kind of thin, though. I'm a little concerned about that, but I'm assuming... It will thicken up. Oop, fogged up my screen. I'm, I'm assuming it'll thicken up, but we'll see. I'll do an update on that. Anyway, I'm going to put it in the jar. Just tilt it down a little bit. Now I want you to fill it to a half an inch headspace, which is like halfway up the neck of the jar. It almost looks like that uh, Thai sweet, hot and sweet sauce I did. But, who knows. And then, a little bit more could go in there. Get it up to, there you go. Always wipe the rim, you know, any of that stuff on there can help hinder that seal from doing a good job. So, wipe that rim. And there it is. It's called Sweet Pickle Relish. Now, I will fill the jars and then I'll put them in the canner. And once they're in the canner, bring it to boiling and process it 10 minutes. And then, of course, you take the lid off, wait five minutes and pull it out. So as soon as we're done with that, I will bring you back and show you the finished product. Alrighty, the Sweet Pickle Relish is finished. I'll show you a little jar of that. It, it was in the boiling water canner for 10 minutes, and I took the lid off and let it set for 5. And then I took it out, and it's already the lids are already popped on it. But there's my day. I got 6 little half pints of the sweet pickle relish. I got 2 pints of the salsa, and I left the little seeds. You can see the jalapeno seeds in there, so it's spicy hot. And I got a plate of these molasses bars, and I did sprinkle a little powdered sugar on them, just give them a little... I don't know, it looks a little nicer. But anyway, there was my day, my Sunday. So I had a good one, and I hope you did too. Thanks for watching.